The world's cities are growing rapidly, and by 2050, about two-thirds of its population will be urban. Most of this growth will be in developing countries. Cities consume over two-thirds of global energy and emit 70% of greenhouse gases. We're going to have billions of people living in urban environments. How do you design those environments so that the pressure on the environment can be managed and at the same time provide housing for people, mobility for them, and green space? Many of the global environmental issues and the solutions take place in cities. Cities are taking an ownership of many of these global agendas in ways that are moving even faster in some cases than the national governments. There is a lot of momentum being built around the mayors being engaged as part of the movement to address climate change. The Global Environment Facility, or GEF, is harnessing this momentum and investing in cities across the world. Any transition to low carbon economies in cities has to be coupled with creating opportunities for local entrepreneurs, local technology providers, local businesses. City's ability to attract commercial financing and to involve private sector is absolutely critical to their ability to implement solutions that they need to implement. Jeff is part of a program supporting 27 cities. Our vision for the Global Partnership for Sustainable Cities uh, was to try to move from individual city programs to a global platform to be able to connect knowledge from all of them. The Jeff platform is an incredible opportunity we have to understand what the other municipalities are doing because we have to strengthen this relationship and to reduce the learning curve. Nous attendons beaucoup de cette collaboration en dehors du fait que nous attendons qu'ils partagent avec nous les bonnes pratiques qui se font déjà chez eux. Nous voulons être appuyés financièrement de façon technologique. Here in the city of Bhopal, Jeff is working with the local municipal corporation on a number of projects. Bhopal is a city of lakes. It is a green city, but it has the challenges of urbanization that automatically leads to higher carbon footprints. And the challenge upon the municipal corporation being to handle the growing aspirations of the people, but at the same time not damaging the environment. Pampur is a huge dump site that it's located right in the middle of Bhopal and has impact on all the surroundings. Hanpur dump site is a burning issue where it requires immediate intervention. The impact on the health of the residents there is a very serious concern for me. With an investment from Jeff, the Bhopal Municipal Corporation is to relocate the dump to a new site outside the city. We uh, definitely want the Bhanpur uh, dump site to be scientifically closed uh, and reclaim as much land as possible. And the day-to-day -day dumping uh, will be done at a different location and that will be done in a scientific manner so that won't lead to another Bhanpur. We will be providing knowledge and tools so the rug pickers can have a safe environment to work in. When we look at the dump site contaminating the, the drinking water, two million beneficiaries will benefit from this Jeff intervention. Countries like India, China, countries like Brazil have hundreds of cities. If the knowledge of this global partnership can be adapted, disseminated, used by national and local governments, then the level of influence will move from 20 cities to hundreds of cities around the world.